Welcome to Close to the Sun. This is a game that I've been waiting for for a very long time, and it's finally here. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. You have no idea. So, uh, quick disclaimer before we get into the playthrough. My three-year-old is here. He does not want to be away from daddy right now. So he is here. You may hear him. I know most of you have already said before that you don't care. You either never hear him or he's just a little cute thing in the background sometimes. So thank you for that. So we'll continue with this. That's it. Oh man, if you've never heard of this game, you have no idea what you're in for. I'm telling you right now, you have no idea what you're in for. Turn that off, not that I'm using it. Uh, gamepad, mouse sensitivity, we'll turn up just a little bit. Only was at four. Oh gosh. Right, well, let's do 1.1, see how that works. Audio effects, music down. I always turn the music down because copyright stuff, you never know. <laughs> we'll do four, okay? Four sounds fine. Ten, uh, let's bring that down to eight. Voices at ten. Show subtitles, yes. Text, audio, English, yes, that's all correct. Graphics, full screen, it is. Resolution, scale, what? I don't, I don't know what this is, but okay. All right, let's back it up. I don't know why this is continue. I just, I just started this game, but okay. Like I haven't even, I probably should have started playing and done a sound quality test, but whatever. Usually I just look at my soundboard and be like, eh, looks okay. Doesn't look loud. <laughs> Brilliant of Ada. Ada? Ada? My dear sister, I left you suddenly and without warning. For that and so much more to come, I apologize. I didn't board the Helios knowing what would happen, only that pursuing my research could change the world. And we did! Just not in the way I'd imagined. Not yet, anyway. I want to explain everything now, so that you'd see that there is nothing to fear. You've always tried to protect me, my big sister, but this was meant to be. It's now my turn to protect you, if only so that things unfold the way they are meant to. Time and necessity has kept us apart, but that is about to change. We need you here aboard the Helios with me. I've enclosed a receiver, and as the name implies, it can receive signals through which we will communicate. I know a little of this will make any sense right now, but I also know that you will keep your promise. I love you. Your sister, Ada. Pretty light on details there, Ada. You leave without warning and now need me aboard the Helios? What aren't you telling me? Alright, so we're playing Rose. And as you saw, Ada needs us for some reason. We are on a ship. Are we on the Helios or are we going to the Helios? I think we're on the Helios. Hello. <clears throat> the Helios, a triumph of engineering for advancement of science. Join the Helios crew. Apply at your local Warding Cliff office. Great. Open that. No, we can't. Oh, hey, we can do a full name though. Uh, Rose Archer. Her last name's Archer. What does that say? The sisters... Tragedy. Is that foreshadowing? Are you foreshadowing in this game already? Well. Well, go outside. Or outside our room, at least. Oh? Oh, man. Okay, two things. One, that made me jump. Two, that sounded creepy because of the distortion in his voice. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Le Petit Paris Parisian? British Navy in pursuit of the Helios. Alleged kidnapping. A prominent prominent British mathematician has the world on edge. Andy Mova, says the Prime Minister. Wardenclyffe denies wrongdoing. Claims that Maxwell joined voluntarily. International group of diplomats rallied to claim rising tensions. Interesting. Okay. Hey, what's this? 
the Helios. Conquering new scientific frontiers under the guidance of Nikola Tesla himself. Invent and inv and, and uh, let's try that again. Invent and innovate without artificial limitations of capital or politics. Just like the speaker, the the person for that reading that is kind of broken. I'm distortion in his voice. <laughs> That's our room. We should come out of there. Can we open this? No. Service. Oh, okay. Wait, isn't it raining? Oh my god, it's just not raining on the boat. Oh, what is this? The Helios Grand Theater, the best entertainment to stimulate the best minds. Alright. Thanks for letting me know. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Should we try to open these doors? Oh, door. Hello. Anything here? No, it's just the other side of the ship. Alright. But we could have seen, like, some kind of, like, other note here or something. Oh, wait. Oh, it's just the light. Okay. <laughs> the light appeared and I thought it was, like, an interaction blip, blip or something. There's no one in the captain's quarters. Am I the captain now? Wait, what was that? What's that noise? Wait, am I really the captain of this ship? Can I close the door? Press button to commence docking procedure. I don't know why I read in that voice for that one. Uh, Wardcliffe takes the responsibilities for personal injuries sustained prior to during... The procedure to Helio. Oh, oh. Uh, so my hand kind of twitched and I pressed it anyways, but whatever. Hopefully there's nothing else to explore there. <laughs> I got excited, okay? I want to go see what's aboard the Helios. Storm in a Teacup presents. By the way, can we, like, appreciate how amazing a developer name is Storm in a Teacup? It just sounds great. I like it. I like it so much. Okay. Okay, game. Okay, game. I don't need this little, like, sci-fi horror music playing. Oh, man. I was just opening my mouth saying my heart was beating so quickly and then the freaking logo and music pop in my face and ears. Thanks. <clears throat> Chapter 1, Border of Hermes. You're walking. Somewhere. Board the Helios and establish communication with Ada. I thought the great Helios would be more... busy? I guess Ada didn't tell anyone I was coming. Yeah, this looks like a giant cruise ship or something. So... I would immediately be suspicious. I would, I mean, I would still want to go see what happened with my sister and whatnot, don't get me wrong, but I'd immediately be scared as hell right now. No lie, but that's, that's just me as a person. Hello? Oh, 
Someone's running around and I don't like it. Jump that high? The Helios. A scientific endeavor that cruises in luxury while the rest of the world is left to fend for itself. Hmm. Doesn't look very luxurious right now, I'm not gonna lie. Welcome aboard the Helios. You're now walking within the largest ship ever built. Thanks. It's it's not a very warm welcome. I can sprint somewhat. I mean, as much as you can. No, no, she's not wearing heels. Oh, I don't know then. I guess she doesn't feel the need to like go all out sprinting. Just a, li a light jog. A light jog is all we need. All right, I just want to preview over here, see if I see anything that's a collectible or something. Something that I must grab. I don't see anything. All right. This authorized personnel only. Seems like I'll have to let myself in. Oh. The ship rat. Active spy. Isolate and eliminate. Oh god. Okay. So, okay. Look for that guy. Maybe. Anything else? No? Alright. No, I, 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 can, I can already tell something. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And I... Oh, man. Uh... Because it's YouTube, so you always want to bring this up just a little bit. Not all the way, but enough. Why? Also, I kind of want to bring this down to... Borderless, but I don't know if I can. Oh, oh, I think it worked. So good? Hold on. Make sure. Oh, wait. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to adjust things in OBS. I'm live editing because I, you know, I never do anything else otherwise, right? Okay, we're good. All right, let's continue. There we go. That'll look a lot better. What? I'm not... Oh, God. <laughs> Stop it. Um, I'm not super knowledgeable about, like, the world. You know, the, the, the geolocations, but... I wonder if those lights are supposed to mean something. If you know what they mean, please let me know, because I, I don't... Like, those could be, like, military base sites or something. I don't know. I don't know what they mean. If anyone knows, like, you know your world, map stuff, tell me. Alright. Going on over here. Ooh, well, let's check this out. Warden Cliff, a company distributing electricity to half of the world, and yet still hungers for that other half. Oh my god. This is a giant ship. Alright, we got club. Ooh, clubs. Hello. Exhibition gallery, balloon. Balloon. <laughs> <laughs> I said balloon. Ballroom, casino, security area, harbor, which we're at right now, right now. Carpentry reception, post office one, two, security area, emergency generator. Uh, magazine one, two, boilers, library, security, infirmary. Engine room, panoramic view, library, boilers, dining area, security. Post office, boilers, security, machine room, machine room, cargo. Apartments, guest apartments, infirmary, suites, Helios gym, swimming pool. Football pitch, machine hall, freshwater tanks, evacuation area, main hall, Teslatorium. Okay. Reception, RS station 2 through 4, RS main station, and cargo. Dress, dress, there's a dress, a dress room? Wait, what? Up there. Dress? That, 
is that where everyone gets changed or is that a store to buy dresses? Cafe, hairdresser, barbershop, barbershop, dining area, kitchen, magazine one through five, and laundry. Great. I think you're just going to have to squeeze through, love. Oh. Oh. Quarantine? What have you got yourself into, Ada? Great! Oh, it closed! Oh my god! I was so freaked out! I was like, what the hell just happened? It closed. Okay, that's what happened. Jesus, that scared the living hell out of me! I thought, like, a creature popped out in the corner and time slowed down or something. Oh my god! Oh, Jesus. Okay. Let me get in this office. Door there. It is still so dark. This is not gonna... Oh, hello. Name, Nicholas Ford. Date of birth, 11th of October, 1850. Country of birth, USA. City of departure, New York. Purpose of visit, actor. Length of visit, 21 days. Pass number, NY5515, USA. Nicholas Passport. Nicholas Ford. Not Tesla Ford. Alright, so I do want I do want to test something. About so I can't like look across the room and be like, oh, there's something to pick up. I gotta be relatively close to see like an icon pop up. And I have to have it within sight, so. It's out of sight. It's not going to pop up for me. Okay. It was good to test those game mechanics early on. I mean, it seems like the logical ways to go over there. She can hop over the bar barricade. It seems like where we're supposed to go, so let's go see if we can find anything else over here. There's some pretty heels. With some pretty heels. I'm not a fan of polka dots, though, so the shirt doesn't do it for me. Hello. Okay. Oh, God. <sighs> You're really going to give me a heart attack, aren't you? God, okay. Nothing to look at. Oh, God. Nothing to look at in here. Let's just, let's just go over here. That's probably blood on the floor. Can't open the door. Great. For a brighter future. And... Oh god. I keep hearing little noises. It's just paint. Someone's just spilling paint on the floor. And it's rude as crap. Oh god. Well, that doesn't open. Can't like force it open. Hello. Oh, never mind. Okay. For some reason, I saw the lamp and I thought that was a guy in like a suit. It's just the glow from the light. Join him. Filling paint on the floor. See? Oh, not crazy. Elevator up ahead. Oh, man. <clears throat> I hate having stuff, stuff stuck in my throat. It's all this nautical air. So moist. You know, I didn't know this was a horror game. Saying. Out of order, use the ladies' restroom. Keep it clean. Yeah, gentlemen, keep it clean. Ladies, use the men's room. Keep it clean. <laughs> oh. This is open.
Anything in here we can interact with? Nothing? What's the point of opening? Oh. Join me. Oh, man. Is that what this room is supposed to be? Exposition? Private office of D. Harnesk. Oh, can't open that one either. My sister. So, I couldn't tell at first if that was a recording or if that was actually him talking. Sounds like that was actually him talking. This the petite person. Oh, we already read that. Seems like they also got the same newsletter. Is that where the is that where the Helios is now, or just where it was when all this stuff broke down when they were moving it? Hello. In accordance to procedure protocol A12, A12, gosh, uh, if only it was A113, huh? The officers greeted the shuttle from the Sydney upon arrival. When guests did not appear as instructed, the officers embarked in the shuttle to perform a standard search. The guest was not found aboard and neither was in the any of the issued warding clay paperwork or issued clothing. Further inspection of the vessel revealed a noticeable but harmless indentation on the starboard side of the shuttle. There was no record of this dent when the vessel left Sydney, so it is possible the shuttle was boarded by another ship while en route to Helios. Whoa, okay. This is the 11th incident of a similar nature this year alone. The vulnerable nature of our automatic shuttles has to be corrected. The ID documentation and Watercliffe uniforms that are regularly lost could prove Edison with enough information to create convincing forgeries. I have yet to receive any reassurance that measures are being taken to prevent these incidents from reoccurring. Security Officer DeRosie. Yeah, it sounds like this is a ship where a bunch of scientific innovation is happening. So, of course, that means people are going to want to... ...steal it. So, does he have his own agent in the world? I mean, I guess that makes sense for... Cray's super genius or something. Uh, Xiong Huan Shoi, I think I said that right. Uh, date of birth, 13th of April, 1843. Country, Korea, departure, Seoul. Purpose of visit, lab researcher. Length of visit, indefinite. Pass number, SE2315KOR. Ready. Stop walking around over there, I'm busy. All right. Eric, Kate, Tom. Huh. That seems where I should go, so I'm gonna go look at the other doors. Our carelessness is Edison's secret weapon. Everything's locked in this. This where I was earlier? Yeah. Okay. From the other side this time. But maybe this isn't where I'm supposed to go. Maybe it was that blinking light over there. 14 6 storage room. 146, whatever. Okay, well, off to the blinking light, I guess. Like, that doesn't look horrifying. Nothing. Had to check, had to check. The same room? No, no it's not. Alright, well let me go see. 
this way. Oh god! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> oh my god. Alright, game. Alright, game. Let's see. This door? Security override. Uh, vap vapor, vapor, incoming threat. Known alias Matho Math Matthias Ellis, Simon Alder, and Ernest Hemson. Well, that's the security thing is probably where we need to go. So, again, let's check out everything else. What you see here, what you do here, when you leave here, let it stay here. So is that another word or whatever for like don't leave here? No, she's got the that uh, curly hair. Look at that. I like it. I love that kind of hair. Oh God! <laughs> I'm not used to doors opening, so it scared me. Jackpot! Infosec sent a tube that corroborates the dates and places. He's an Edison spy, all right. Your gut instincts were right again. It's important that we make this one count. We need to tap him on all that he knows, whether he wants to sing or not. This is definitely a West-West situation. Feel free to get creative. Security offer to Rosie. Uh, Sylvia Bishop. Date of birth, 8th of July, 1860. Uh, country birth, England. Departure, London. Purpose of visit, art exhibition. Length of visit, 7. Pass number, L07542 ENG. Yummy. Come over here too. Nicola tells the recruits British intelligence officer to oversee information security aboard the Helios. Yet another high profile scientist joins the ever growing Helios crew. Sabotage attempts averted as Helios shuttle avoids ramming. Also, Milano Marketing Inc. requires no heating. That's the best news there. That's not creepy at all. Wait, what is this? Authorized personnel only. Is this like secret combination or something? Yes, so. so oh. This is how suspected Edison spies get interrogated aboard the Helios. Ugh. Wait until my editor hears about this. Okay, I think I saw one of these earlier. So these are those are uh safes of sorts. My heart is beating a mile a minute. I'm so skittish. I'm so terrified. Check out this area. Oh, that was me. <laughs> oh my god. Hello. Uh, the interrogation of researcher Becker had an immediate effect on the amount of cross-department chatter that contained sensitive information. Unfortunately, it also made the suspected Edison leak go silent. We are therefore no further along in our investigation over exactly what material has been compromised. I'm hereby requesting that a more hands-on approach be taken in order to assure the continued security of Helios. We cannot afford another grand-scale sabotage. Once is enough. I'm aware of how uncomfortable Mr. T is with the less sophisticated measures, but doing it the old-fashioned way is sometimes the only option. Information Officer Strutman? But Mr. T, is that Mr. Tesla? Obviously. There. There. Oh, wait. Edison denies espionage allegations. Ac accusations are merely circumstantial, claims Edison. Preparations for a countersuit is on its way. What a clive declines a comment. Tesla absent as preliminary hearings commence into accusations of Edison's espionage. Interesting. This. 
French climatologist Jean Villemprose seems boarding shuttle vessel to the Helios. Yet another high-profile scientist joins the ever-growing Helios crew. Sabotage attempt averted as Helios shuttle avoids ramming. I think I read this already? But that name sounds new to me, so maybe I didn't? Or there's just rerunning headlines. I mean, if news sites today just rerun stuff, then, you know, it makes sense that back then they would do it too, right? See, look, look, here's one. Can't move it, though. Okay, okay. Maybe that was meant for that door. Up there. God. Hello? Don't worry, her research holds the key to everything. What? Who was this message for? I thought maybe you, but I guess not. I don't know. Ooh, what is this? Name, David Bishop. Date of birth, 4th of December, 1890. Country of birth, England. Departure, London. Accompanying minor. Link to visit seven days. Oh, wait. Is he the one that was with the spy lady who's... Oh, God. That's now very dark now that I think about it because she was dead. Tesla's death rate to make war impossible. Nikola Tesla proposes to compel the world towards peace with the threat of immeasurable damage. Oh, God. His newly announced weaponry is about to go up for an auction. It has nations all over the world scrambling for funds. Tesla's ship-mounted weaponry could annihilate an entire fleet. Jesus, Tesla. Well, it looks like you did something worse here. Probably climb down, not try to jump down, right? The way she climbs down so slowly makes it all the more scary. All right, I think we've explored everything now. Let's go uh, unlock the security doors, the elevator. I just I'm a little scared, okay? Okay. One more to go. Uh I unlock this somehow? No? Alright. I just noticed I'm legitimately biting my lip over here. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, we went towards this area earlier. Did I not open this? Did I not see this? I guess I didn't. Or maybe I did earlier and I wasn't paying attention. Alright, well, if it's like the other one, then they both have to look up, right? Okay. Armless. Suspected sleeper agent. Find confirming or eliminated evidence. Wait, what? Find confirming or eliminating evidence. Not sure what that means. Uh, Anyata Patel. I hope I said that right. 28th of May, 1855. Country birth, India. City of departure, Bombay. Purpose of visit, lab technician. Link to visit, indefinite. Pass number B O eight five five four I N D. That should do it. Now to find Ada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you say. Is it a key? Okay. Ah! Oh God! What the hell? Hey! Hey! Shit! <laughs> oh dear Lord. 
Oh dear lord, my heart, I can't take it. The fire of Prometheus. Ah! Oh! oh my god. Hello? Who's gonna jump me? Where am I now? Number 24. The Teslatorium? Oh my god. Whoa, trippy. At least this one's brighter, right? This is lead researcher Archer calling any survivors on this frequency. Is anyone out there? What the? I repeat, this is lead researcher Archer calling for any survivors on this frequency. Is anyone? Ada. Rose? Ada! Holy shit, Rose! Ada! What the hell are you doing here? Wait, what? Ada, you told me to come. I've got your letter right here. That... That doesn't make any sense. I didn't write you any letter, Rose. But, but never mind. There's been an accident. Or sabotage. It, it doesn't matter. We need to get off this ship. That's what the quarantine is about? Ada, what the hell is going on? Rose, listen very carefully. We really need to leave. It's spreading all... A Ada! Ada! Oh, come on! Maybe I can get a better signal with this thing somewhere... Helios, press this button. Ah, the Helios. Named after the sun itself, a source of almost unlimited power. This is a safe space for those with an open mind and a talent for the scientific arts to expand the limits of human endeavor. Away from prying eyes and cynical money men, here all that matters is progress as we reach for the very stars themselves. It is our floating home and the cradle of mankind's technological evolution. You walk within the very future of the human race, and you are most, most welcome. Huh. Anything else here? United States Patent Office. Oh, is that the infamous Tesla Tower? Peaceful and neutral, unbound, unattached, uncommitted to the nation's states of the world. I mean, as long as you're not selling, sailing into owned waters, I guess. Advancing humanity one industry at a time. From military to medical, from shipping to production, Helios continues to innovate. It looks knock reactor. Oh. I didn't say anything. Statue of himself. Every evil evil villain needs a statue of themselves. What sort of nut job builds a museum to themselves in their own house? <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Rose. Thanks for confirming that for me. Also, is that statue the same as this one right here? Right? It moved. I was going to be upset. Oh, the death ray. Radio waves aren't just great for transmitting sound images and energy across large Oh, this is what I was on. But with this radio controlled boat, they can also be used to transport people. If you are here on the Helios, then you've already enjoyed a voyage on one of these. They are unmanned vessels controlled automatically via radio signals. Less risky in case of malfunction and subsequent drowning. Not that there was ever much risk. That is to say, you're safely here, aren't you? So, all's well. Yeah, and if you drown, then you're not here to report that it went terribly. This is the death ray? This is the machine with which I intend to rid the world of war. Once and for all. My dear Death Ray, it may seem contradictory that such a thing could promote peace, but possessed with this no 
none would even consider military action against us. That's the theory, at least. Yeah, in theory. I'm not sure if that actually works, though. God. Stop it! The earthquake machine! There's nothing, nothing here to listen to. What a cliff announced success. Resonance with other dimension. Whoa, what? Only Tesla knows how it works. Dawn of free energy. Is Tesla violating the laws of conservation of energy? Free energy threatens thousands of energy jobs. Riots expected. Resonance with other dimension. Crazy theory. Uh, our... Our, uh, oh gosh, our Ada's dead. Her, uh, this Rose's Ada's dead. And the Ada on this ship is from, like, another dimension or something. Or her Rose is dead or something. Yeah. Crazy theories. Anyways, move on. I only said it because of the whole other dimension thing. <laughs> I'm probably terribly wrong. This. When I discovered the X-ray, we would have wonderful times in the lab shooting each other with the thing. Blackened silhouettes on the walls, capturing a single moment of playtime for all eternity. That is, of course, until we realize that X-rays are quite, quite harmful. This machine makes the whole process much safer, though far less fun. Uh, okay. That sounded like not cryptid at all. There's nothing over here. Check that out in a minute. What is this? The Tesla Tower! The one thing that I know really about Nikola Tesla. My first Tesla Tower at Warden Cliff was a huge success. I always knew that my dream of free energy transmitted wirelessly across the globe would be a resounding success. What I did not foresee was the hunger of the human race. It's gluttony for more, more, and more electricity. Wireless transmission of power, and that's the easy part. Finding that power in the first place, now there's the tricky bit. It seemed to work well in Goosebumps too. just then. The neon light. Tesla coil. Oh. Earthquake machine brings down the city block! Seven killed and many injured as buildings came falling down. Misguided experiment creates damage at Wardencliffe Warehouse Quota. Promise of compensation and real building efforts arrive from Wardenclyffe after disastrous test of new invention. Oh man. He was just testing this out in the open and killed people for it? He's definitely, he's, he's a crazed villain. Crazed villain. Amazing scheme of great inventor to draw millions of volts of electricity through the air from Niagara Falls. And then feed it out to the cities, factories, and private houses from the tops of the towers with, without wires. The Tesla Tower. It's nuts, but, you know, he was on the right track, at least. Okay. Creepy ship full of scientists in the middle of the ocean. What could possibly go wrong? Rose would be great at cinema sins. Oh? The ballroom? Oh, wait. Oh! What the? Whoa, trippy dude. Hello. Uh. Hello? Oh, they're all wearing masks. doing here if you didn't write the letter who did it's in your handwriting and everything this is gonna sound weird but it might have been me not present me but future me I know how crazy that sounds but I promise I can explain everything 
Let's rendezvous in my apartment. From there, we'll escape together, okay? Escape from what, exactly? It's not safe here, Rose. It's spreading throughout the ship. I'll tell you everything when we meet up in my apartment. You need to grab a Faraday keycard from the check-in desk there in the main hall. They're kept in a wall-mounted safe. The combination should be written down somewhere nearby. The keycard will automatically take the elevator to the right district. Did you get all that? Yeah. Open safe. Get keycard. Use elevator. Meet in your apartment. I, I got it. Great. I won't be able to reach you on the radio for a bit, so just get there and stay safe, okay? Fine. But when you get there, I'm expecting some answers. Deal? Deal. Oh, and sis, even if I can't explain why or how you got here, I really am grateful that you're here. See you soon. See you soon, sis. Each one of these masks represents something, a division. Uh, so I still think it's a lie. Like, in my eyes, I still, oh, it is Prometheus, hey. Um, I still think this gotta be, this has to be like a dimensional thing, let alone, not necessarily a future thing, but I could be wrong, we'll see. But obviously, Nicola was messing with stuff that he shouldn't be messing with. When does science go too far? Tech Labs Anomaly Mask. Collect all the masks. This. What a glyph announces success! Resident. Oh, we already read this. Yeah. Never mind. Down, newspaper boy. Anything here? Oh. Oh, oh. Okay. What's back here? Oh, that must be the safe. Now oh my goodness. Open. Yep, that was him. Uh, one forty-two. Okay. Nothing important. So. How do I get this? Oh, this way then. Oh, I get it. I messed up, but whatever. Oh, okay. Faraday District. Bingo. A key card for the elevator. Did I not get any other key cards, or is it that the only one available? Damn, birds, stop eating the paint. I know what I said. What is that staticky sound? All right. Hope this works. District 8. Faraday. What? Oh. I thought... <laughs> I thought that was saying how to manipulate time for us, like... A spoil- I hate when tips... When loading screen tips spoil the game. But no, it's just informational stuff. The home of Hestia. Are these all gonna be Greek names? What? Why am I looking down? Oh god, that was creepy. Why was I looking down? Ugh. What is that smell? Whoa, trippy. That's a beautiful sketch. I wish I could draw like a third of that skill, but I can't. <laughs> Nothing to look at. Okay. Is that another one? Another one bites the dust. Rose, did you reach my apartment district yet? Yeah. 
door won't open. Easy there, champ. Try putting your considerable weight behind it. You calling me fat? Yeah. Oh, oh god. That's that's a brain. Oh my god. Did this. We don't we don't know yet, but right now we need to get you safe. Make your way to the center of the apartment complex. There's a generator that will open the gates. Focus on that for now. I'm on my way. I'll broadcast you again shortly. Be careful, sis. I'll try. Time is not a river. Maybe they are messing with time. So oh, I, I should have went to go see what that thing was before I went into any doors. I can't even read it right now. I'm like, whew. Hello? Found your friends. Oh my god, this is terrifying. If you're squeamish, you might want to fast forward like a few seconds. Look like bullet wounds or something, or stab wounds actually. It was a sword. That explain why some of them are ripped apart. Yeah, those look like stab wounds. That's... Time is not a river. So it does not flow in one direction, is that what you're trying to say? Is time a circle then? Is there a person that just ran over here to the left? Making sure if there's anything I need to see over here. Whoa, look. Whatever wrote that letter we saw earlier. Whatever, whoever. Service? Uh, the seventh annual Helios Masquerade Ball. Laundry schedule. Midnight lights out. No debates past midnight. Arguing over the limitations of found Fourier? 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 Transformations can wait. No need to bother the rest of the district. Keep your lively debates and discussions to their designated halls and hours. Continued disturbances will be reported to the Department of Security as protocol. And from what I've seen... I want to move. I don't want to move. Hmm. No, no, Ada 
departure listed here. Are these visions from the past? Probably right, considering the whole thing seems to have to do with time. That must be it. Let's see about getting some lights on in here. Oh. One, one, two, one, three. Two, three. Okay. Can I open this door? Delta. No, okay. I'm actually kind of happy I don't have to. <laughs> oh, I'm such a wuss. All right. Whew. Ada. Oh, about damn time. What took you? <coughs> what? Hello? Who is this? If you've harmed my sister, I swear to God I will break oh, every bone. I haven't harmed anyone, all right? My name's Aubrey, and it's really... Really nice to finally talk to someone who isn't decomposing, you know. Uh... Never mind, sorry. But you have got to get me out of here. I'm holed up in the engine halls, starboard side, deck 82. Kind of trapped, actually. How soon can you get here? Look, buddy, I can't make any promises. I'm going to get my sister off this thing. But if we can, we will come to get you too. How does that sound? Oh yeah, of course. Don't mind me. I'll just sit here and starve. No problem. That sounds great. You know, Benny here in the corner died during the exotic energy leak, but he still has most of his spine intact. Maybe he can lend it to you so that the next time a person in need asks for help, you will have enough of a backbone to actually do something. What the hell was all that about? What a jerk. What a jerk, man. I, I'm more worried about my immediate family first, which should be obvious to any person alive. And then I'll consider helping you. But if you're going to be a jerk about it, then you could just rot and starve. From the Maxwell District to the Faraday District. Is anyone still in Faraday? We need help. We're trapped in the Maxwell with a severe exo leak. We've tried to close it off, but it just keeps spreading. Some are hallucinating shapes in the exo clouds, and it's just putting everyone on edge. We haven't heard from sec depth, so quarantine protocol is still active, but people are considering making a break for the rail tunnel. Send someone, anyone. All right, well. Oh, the birds. <laughs> oh, movement. I know what it was at first. That seems where I probably need to go. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I don't have an inventory or anything. Oh, wait, here we go. Oh. Royal visit scheduled aboard the Helios. A series of seemingly independent purchases of bulk copper is traced through the shell companies back to Wardenclyffe. Industry-wide copper shortage after Wardenclyffe coup. They're buying up all the copper. Because it conducts electricity. Can't hop over there. Oh, look, cricket. Whoever is repeatedly stealing toilet paper deliveries, I hope you die of rectal hemorrhage. Oh my god. A toilet paper thief. 
cute. Damn! I hope you die of rectal hemorrhage. Oh my god. What an insult. <laughs> Ooh. Another body. More stab wounds. Well, more like claw marks right there. Go that way. Alright, well, she's probably in gamma, like I saw. More dead bodies. Oh, I don't think I can get in there. Not right now, at least. Where does that lead to? Bears. Hello. Chess. Nita used to be great at it. Bane withholds supply shipment to the Helios. Invention disputes escalates as negotiations come to an abrupt halt. The international exhibition of Brussels opens to roaring crowds. Edison announces new infrastructure investments all across the Southeast Asia. So should I see what's up here? This isn't where I came from, right? No, it's not. Can I not turn this off yet? Epsilor? Yeah, these have to be like visions from the past, right? The obnoxious, curious 18-year-old who visited last week, Albert, left his belongings in the Wynn Guest Suite. Did you get in touch with our German Wardenclyffe office to order the arrange... To, in order to arrange the return shipping of his things. Thanks, Marcia. Yes, we have received a special request for a piano to be brought to the Earth Suite. See if you can get maintenance to help out with the transportation from the dock. Yes. Huh. Oh, hello. E card for the Fire Guest Suite. E card for the Wind Guest Suite. Great, I have three cards now. Oh, I already read that. These are collectibles. So only that was a collectible. The other two are key cards that I needed, it looks like. Oh, it's part of... Never mind. <laughs> I thought it was a little collectible or something. Birthday? Oh, balloon physics. Oh, God. Ah! <laughs> Stop it. Oh, my God. Okay. Who is this? A photo of someone's wife. A photo of a beautiful lady. Always, always, always believe in yourself. Because if you don't, then who will, sweetie? I thought there'd be something more substantial in here. Closet, maybe? Side. Nothing. It was just that. Great. Whew. Damn balloon. Oh ho! Three, three, two, one, two. For what? Three, three, two, one, two. Well, remember that.
don't know if the white fedora is important. At least there's no balloons in here. All right, there's something over there. Albert Einstein, uh, March 14th, 1879. Country of birth, Germany, departure, Bernia. Purpose of visit, researcher, length of visit, indefinite. Fast number BN1355GER. Bernia, Germany, 1879. Kindest Helios personnel. I realize that this probably isn't very proper. However, after a very illuminating conversation with lead researcher Archer, I must return to the mainland to pursue an idea. As fellow scientists, I'm sure you understand the desire to chase these rare moments of inspiration. If need be, chalk my hasty escape to overly eager youth. I thank you all for your hospitality during my brief yet very productive stay. Donkey? Donkey? Whatever, Albert. I know I must have pronounced that terribly. I feel like I'm going to forget this number. 33212. Gotta remember that. Was that my keys? Yeah, okay. Back to the only one left. Make sure I didn't miss like a safe or something. See, you know eventually I'm gonna have to open this door. I wonder why I can't open it now. Probably a story thing. Don't have the key card for that. Not here. Oh. game froze because it was like, how dumb are you to just jump down? <laughs> Not going through that anytime soon. I know, but to make sure our sister wasn't in there. Rail station. Some more paint? Must be the ball another ballroom maybe? This uh we already heard that. Or dead people. Man, where is she? Maybe I need to go up those stairs that I saw. Oh, you know there's going to be a jump scare at some point, walking up, or going so slowly up these stairs. My goodness. Aaron Prosper with wife, Marie, and sons, Humphrey and Benjamin. Hey, Dad, this is the photo we took before you went abro aboard. We're looking forward to new stories on your return. Mom says hello, Humphrey. When the kids is... Crashed out, or maybe blood. Hoping I could hop over. I can't. Come on, I don't want to almost die again, break a leg. Hmm.
Nothing in there. Oh, I didn't, I didn't pay attention. There's another way to go. It's not fair. We're in the we're in the biology department. Come back with clothes either covered in blood or dirt. While the worst the physics department ever gets is some light chalk stains from writing equations all day. We need at least two laundry days to get the blood stains out. Fix this. I mean, sounds reasonable. Here, maybe? Huh. Archer Ada. Ah. Aha. Alpha quarter. Now I just need to find a way inside. Uh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Listen, buddy. Like I said before, we will Rose? do what we can. Who are you talking to? Ada. Oh, thank God. Yeah, some guy named Aubrey was broadcasting on our frequency. Said he was stuck in the engine halls and mentioned something about exotic energy. <laughs> I'd like some answers. Rose, I'd rather explain it in person. It's no, not Ada, what you... now is a great time to tell me what the hell is going on here. Fine, fine. I'll be brief. Listen. We discovered quantum resonance anomalies that prove the one electron theory, meaning that every electron in the universe is the same one moving back and forth through time. So naturally, we began to consider a second time dimension attached to the Euclidean analogy of Minkowski space. Now, I know what you're thinking. Ada. What about the Thompson conjecture? Ada, well, Ada, that's... Ada, 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 stop. It's me you're talking to. None of that nerd talk. Right. Uh, okay. A large experiment went boom. It ruptured a current of time and dangerous things have flooded through it. These things have been killing us. <sighs> all of us. We've tried to contain it all, but the point is we need to leave. Did you find my apartment? Yeah, but the outer quarter is locked. I can't get in. I suppose you keep a spare key card somewhere. Shit. No, wait! Yes, I do! My friend Eliza has a pair. God, I, I hope she's okay. She's on the ground floor, Gamma Quarter. Gamma? Mm. Then her entrance is covered in a web of live electricity cables. I can't get near it. Can you turn off the power source? The override code should be written in the Epsilon Guest Quarter. Easy peasy. Right. I'll get the override code and disable the generator. Easy peasy. Listen, I'm entering another shielded section, so I'll lose my broadcast ability again. But I'll try to hurry. I'm getting closer. <laughs> Huh. Well, 33, 2, and 2. <clears throat> wow. Wow. You're tired of doing of getting jump scared? Do you want to do the jump scaring if there's someone in here? Whoa, okay. Someone did not want someone else getting in here. Uh, 33, 2. One, two. Et voila. Now to get Ada's spare keys. If they're even still here, honey, I mean, what if this friend took them with her and died somewhere in the ship? You gotta consider all your options. Please on through. A and T. Ada and Tesla? Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me she's going to end up working for Tesla. I assume I should check the bodies. Oh my god. Can't. 
Looks like it might be mother and daughter. They're old enough that they could be a uh, relationship. They could be wives. Oh. Oh, that doesn't look good. That looks like a spear. A king. Okay. I don't like hearing things knock over. Circle must be broken. Yeah, I saw that outside. More spears. Whatever it is, it's throwing spears at people. Hey, look at that. Alright, I think... The one key is what I was looking for. God, so many people dead. Whatever did this, like, we're so lucky we haven't even run into it yet. Well, that didn't make me feel any better. I remember we got this key card earlier. Man, there's a lot of chests around here, by the way. I've noticed that. I wonder if that's supposed to have some kind of meaning. You beat Professor St Oh, this is the chest master. Well, that explains why he has so many in here. So this is what you look like, the guy whose room I'm in. Well, there's nothing in here to pick up that I can tell. Just more exploratory than anything. What friend was I looking for? I don't remember. A Patel. A King. Aubrey King. Can't be that many Aubreys on board. Could there? A. A rain device. Huh. New watercleft weather breakthrough. Rain to provide to the to provide the Helios with electricity. Lead researcher Aubrey King innovates in, with a new solution for electricity generation aboard the Helios. Edison and General Electric continues rapid expansion across southern Asia. Maybe that's why it looks so gleamy, gloomy, gloomy, just because his machine. He has a poster of Tesla in his drawer. That's not creepy at all. Best employee of the year. Aubrey King for his astonishing result in developing new technologies. Congratulations, Nikola Tesla. It does seem like he's actually obsessed with Tesla. What's going on? I didn't even get to read it. Some wait. I need to rewind this. What did it say? God, he has an obsession. Dear Professor King, this letter is to inform you that effective May 2nd, you are being demoted from lead researcher of the Weather Tech Department to coordinator of the maintenance division. Not having reached sufficient results in the exploitation of the resources granted by Wardenclyffe, the company believes your long-standing knowledge of the Helios will be of better use in ensuring the functioning of the areas designated for the conver conversion of new energy sources. 
You have the right to appeal this demotion under the Watercliff Grievance Policy. If you have any questions, meet Linda Kasinski, Kasinski, Director of Employee Relations. Sincerely, J.C. Gristani. Huh. We got demoted. But again, it looks like he's obsessed with Tesla. Got him ever enough that he's looking through his face? That's gross. All right, well, something just happened next door. Probably where I need to go, too. M. Nielsen. E. Fairfield. Oh, God. E. Ivanov. Hello? I know we saw someone walk in here. We know what you did. Do what we say, as we say, when we say. Or we will make sure your days aboard the Helios are over. We will be in touch. Is that for me, or is that for whoever was in here? Look. And that symbol seems to be hidden everywhere, huh? Uh... Did that happen? Rest in peace, Eliza. I think she'd rather kill herself than be stabbed by whatever creature's on this board. Oh, man. Give me a minute. <clears throat> This is home. Helios is the only place where I ever truly belonged. This ship accepted me for being me. I cannot put into words what it's like to suffer through the life without finding acceptance or kinship. But here aboard the Helios, not only did I find kinship, I found friendship. I found family. And now, I've destroyed the only family I've ever known. I'm alone. Again. I was never meant to end up here, yet here I am open hand with a judgment at my door. I thought the barricade could hold them off, at least for a time. So naive of me. Their clouds came through unhindered, followed by the screams of my friends. I'm the only one left, alone, again. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. I was just supposed to, to delay the test. Just a delay, that was all. A delay in exchange for their silence so I could remain aboard with my friends. Not that it matters in the end, my guilt won't go away and so the solution won't change. If you can forgive me, I thank you with all my heart. If you can't, I understand and accept your verdict. I am alone again, it's my fault. Oh my god. So, that note that we found was meant for her. And it seems like whatever spy or organization infiltrated this place told her to delay the test. But her delaying the test actually sabotaged it. I am not going to look up. That's too much for me. Two tests. Uh, two tests, two keys. There we are. Ada's There's two of them. Let's go. I guess Ada could be that important that she needs to do. Back to the Alpha Quarter. At least I know the way. Oh, we read that. The circle must be broken. The circle must, must be broken. Please don't call out. Ah, uh, you know he's gone. My heart pounding so hard in my chest.
Circle must be broken. Ah, because time doesn't flow like a river. It flows like a circle. Circle must be broken. I'm already saying it right now. I get it. There's still no one in there. All right, I'm here. Please work. Yes. Close it. I would like to close it. Thomas Miller with wife Agnes and daughter Elizabeth. Please hurry back. Miss, we will miss you so. so. What the hell yep. is wrong with the people here? Ada owes me so many answers. I couldn't. I couldn't tell if I was just seeing things or I didn't know if that was an actual person and then he didn't move and I got super close and then he moved. Ooh. I hope you're having fun watching this game as much as I am because I'm having a blast. Whew. Oh, no more quarters. All right. EF Brown. You know, Ada's probably in the back. E. Miller. A. Faust. Oh. Anne, we waited as long as we could for you, but it's not safe anymore. We've locked everything and moving out with some people from Sigma and Delta. Meet us in the garden as soon as you can. Don't wait, just go, Thomas. Interesting. Uh, Giaco, some of us here are some of us here actually prefer to sleep during the night. I'm not saying you should stop sneaking your lady friend into your apartment, but for the love of all things holy, please soundproof your room. Sleepless neighbors. That's rude. Don't be doing that where people can hear you. A Archer. <laughs> yeah, this is Ada's room, all right. Never did learn to clean her room properly. Here it is again. Oh, it's an item of Eden. Or she's playing Dungeons and Dragons. I thought I heard something. Man, that freaked me out. Oh. Then four sided one. Fire, wind, avatar. Was there something behind here? Taming a new kind of fire to raise mankind beyond its material limitations. Oh, you always did dream big, Ada. Earth. A D20. The fire, water, earth so far. Oh, I haven't seen this picture in years. We were just... Hey, Rose, where are you? I made it to your apartment, and if we were to make it off the ship alive, I need to understand what's going on. For example, you said a future you wrote me the letter that brought me here. What does that even mean? My research is about exploiting loopholes in the flow of time. 
time. So a future me will write that letter and somehow send it back in time to get you here on the... Helios. Holy shit! And I think I know how! Listen, Rose, I need you to grab me some very important research. There's a secret room in my room. You find it while I make my way through another laboratory department. I'll give you a clue. It's center stage. That's it? You're just going to leave me to figure this out on my own? Have fun! So, let me get this straight. We're on board some kind of death machine boat where it's super important that we get off right away and you want to give me a damn riddle to figure out instead of here's exactly where it is and what you need to do so we can get off this freaking death boat. Great. I love you too, sis. You are freaking amazing. Anyway, she said center stage. I'm assuming the earth, wind, and fire thing are what I need. It's a great album, but you know. Anyways. Sorry, right, look at this. Oh, hello. Yeah, one of the pictures moves. I assumed it was this one. Great. Glad to know I've been right. Oh, great. Oh, what matches uh, the die? Um, what was the four-sided? I want to say it was wind, right? Oh, great. Uh, this one, right? One, two, three, four, five. This is five. That one. Okay, no, so it's not the electric one. This one. No? What? That fire? Oh my god, come on, thing. Oh, that one was fire. There we go. Something grabs my hand. The homie god. Oh, this is worse. This is so much worse. Oh my god, I'm already... Word the Helios. We'll get together. We'll have a few laughs. Ugh. My shoulders are so tense right now. So this is it? This is the research that will allow the letter to go back in time? Mm. I thought it would be thicker? Don't understand any of it, though, do you? How's it going? Pretty good. Although, I'm afraid I found an error in your fancy calculations. <laughs> that would be the day. What did you find? Well, you've got massless known vectors intersecting with relativistic spoon dimensions. None of what you just said makes any sense whatsoever. Makes just as much sense to me as this notebook. These equations will allow you to send the letter back in time? Yes, and since you received it, I've technically already done it. Or will do it, depending on how you look at it. Comforting to know that I'll at least live long enough to write it. But the research means so much more. It could do so much more for all of us. Promise me you'll protect it. Promise me. Fine, I promise. But now what? I've divided the research into two pieces. You only have half of it. I'm on my way to pick up the other half. I'm just gonna go through the bio labs now and we'll. What the? Damn it! Rose, I'm trapped! Rose, I'm trapped in the bio labs! Rose, Rose can you hear me? Oops! Ada! Piece of shit receiver. I 
I kept waiting for this to be like a button, but it's just a light. Well, she's trapped in the bio labs. That's not good. But you want to bet I'm going to see someone walking across her room right now. Or someone's face looking down into this. Get ready for it. Get ready for a jump scare. It's going to happen. Ah, uh, you have no idea how tense I was. <laughs> uh, we are due for another jump scare, though. It's coming up soon. I just don't know when or where. So she's trapped in the bio labs. Do I know where that's at? I don't think I. Uh oh. Hello. Ah, our late arrival. A pleasure to finally speak to you, my dear. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Nikola Tesla. I know who you are. Now go away so I can speak to my sister. I am afraid that won't be possible. As I'm sure you are aware, the Helios is under strict quarantine. And for that quarantine to be effective, I cannot have you and lead researcher Acha be opening containment doors all over this ship. The damage already caused is severe. I cannot allow you to make it worse. Therefore, the both of you must remain at your current locations until this situation is resolved. You are locking us up? We will be sitting ducks for whatever is out there. Rest assured that I am doing everything that I can to remedy this situation. Right. How is that working out, huh? A ship full of dead scientists. The great Helios falling apart at the seams. Where's your unlimited energy now? <sighs> Coward. Oh. A Ada, are you okay? Ada. Hey, hi. Me again. Oh. It's you. Great. First I get trapped. Now this. Trapped? You too? Just like me. <laughs> well then, some expert advice. Find a good clean corner that isn't tainted with the stench of death. That's step one. Not the kind of help I was hoping for. So you can get me out? Well, that depends. Where are you? The Alpha Quarter of the Faraday District. Some kind of lockdown gate came down. Can you open it? <coughs> About that. Can I count on you to come and help me out if I do this? My situation is uh, slightly more complicated. Aubrey, the door. Please. Pretty please. Go get your sister, I understand. Family first and all that. But I've got family too, you know. And I'm still trapped. Help me, and I'll help you. Okay, Aubrey. Deal. Help me get to my sister, and we will come to get you too. I promise. Scout's honor. Excellent. So I need you to stand away from the lockdown gate while I work my magic. Let me know when you found some decent cover, okay? Sure. Oh my god, is he gonna blow the door? Alright, here we go. Holy shit, Aubrey! The gate nearly exploded! Sorry, so sorry. My bad. I might have sent a bit too much juice down the power lines. I'll be back in a minute. Just go some diagnostics and high five Benny. I think his arms should still be around here somewhere. Sounds good. Nice work, Aubrey. I'll talk to you soon. Oh my goodness, okay. What? Red blood for time blood. Holy shit. Oh my god. Okay. 
brass. 